Chapter 546, Bronze Carapace King. In just a moment, many great powers from the Western Green River revealed their stance. Although the treasures might be tempting, a long-lasting relationship with the all Era's ancient kingdom was more important. Moreover, it was not certain that they could even obtain these treasures in the pond. There were many emperors' lineages here, so the big fortune had no parts for great powers like them. Instead of drinking leftover soup from these lineages, it would be better to climb up the ladder to please the all Era's ancient kingdom at this moment. If they didn't give the Anlunhu I face at this moment, then once he ruled over the ancient kingdom, it would be too late to try to make positive relations. This is the deal between fellow Dallas Lee and our ghost race. Are you satisfied? Dian Lun Hui asked Li Kai, hailing from the All Ears Ancient Kingdom. Dian Lun Hui had never lacked treasures and could obtain all that he wanted. To him, not obtaining the big fortune from the pond was not a big deal. He needed status and fame as well as the support of these great powers. This would solidify his position in the ghost race for when he eventually contends for supremacy. He was very satisfied by the Western Green River's great powers attitude. In the future, he would rule over the Ancient Kingdom then reign over the Green River without an issue. Once his wings became stronger, he would then aim for the top of a sacred nether world and eventually maneuver his army into the nine worlds to compete for the heavens' will. Good move. Li Kai smilingly said as he nodded approvingly. Dian Lun Hui didn't continue to chat and quietly left. He didn't go too far since he wanted to watch from the distance to see the developing situation. His eyes were profound, and no one could see through his thoughts while he was shrouded in that mysterious aura. He wanted to see Li Kai's grand Dao once more. After Dian Lun Hui's departure, Li Kai looked towards the Phoenix Maiden. This turmoil was initiated by her, but she was clever enough to make others fight first as cannon fodder. Li Kai didn't intend to let her go since she continuously antagonized him. He stared at her and nonchalantly said, Do you want to try again by using the pond, or do you want to use force? Our matter has not yet concluded. What do you think? The maiden said as she coldly glared at him. Her eyes were burning with a palpable murderous intent towards Li Kai. Whatever, it's up to you. Li Kai smiled and said, Using the pond or directly fighting, both of these choices are good. Today, we should resolve this grievance. Like I said, death is the only path for my enemies, so you should mentally prepare to meet your demise today. Ha ha ha. Human ants. Do you really think our ghost race has no one that can stand up to you? How could we allow a cruel and immoral butcher like you to slay our ghost juniors? An immense voice suddenly appeared. Loud buzzes appeared as the sky became dark with the arrival of countless insects that eventually gathered into a gigantic person. Bronze Carapace Insect Tribe, the Bronze Carapace King. The group gasped and uttered after seeing this insect giant. This insect tribe was not the strongest ghost tribe in the sacred nether world, but it was definitely the most troublesome and scary tribe. They were like locusts and unkillable cockroaches. It was nearly impossible to kill them all. The tribe brought along a group of disciples, causing many great powers to secretly dread their presence. These insects all came together to form the bronze carapace king that stood before Li Kai, with the heavens as his crown. It stared down at Li Kai. Li Kai was too lazy to look at this giant as he said, Oh, your bronze carapace insect tribe wants to get involved too? This king looked very real as if it was cast from bronze. No one would think that it was made from countless insects squeezed together. Yes. The voice of the insect king was clear yet loud like thunder. It coldly spoke, Human Junior, we will not allow you to carry out your devious scheme, my scheme. Li Kai asked with amusement. Time and time again, you kill our ghost geniuses in order to carry out your plan. My plan? What kind of plan? Li Kai laughed and asked. You killed Ghost Monk, Golden Child, and also several tens of thousands of young talented experts of the ghost race. Now, you reach your hands towards the Titanic Crescent Saint Child and the Ghost Insect Evil Child. Then in the future, you will also conspire against our three heroes. For what? This is all because you want to kill our ghost race's youngins, our seeds as well as our future and hope. This is your scheme. After you do so, you will then lead the humans to ruthlessly massacre our ghost race and chase us out of the sacred nether world, even if it means to the point of extinction. Then, your human race will rule the entire sacred nether world alone. At this point, the insect king was extremely angry. With indignation, he spoke in a righteous manner, but as a member and child of the ghost race, we of the bronze carapace insect tribe will not let you get away with it. If you want to scheme against our youth, you will have to confront us first. The insect king's rhetoric was full of devotion to righteousness that deserved reverence. His presentation against Li Kai caused everyone to become dumbfounded, including the great powers of the ghost race. Many great characters from these powers looked at each other, whether it were ghosts or people from the other races. Anyone with a sliver of sobriety could tell that the insect king was exaggerating. Li Kai alone wanted to destroy the ghost race? This was just daydreaming. Long Zunshin, who was standing to the side, shook his head. He knew the goal of the Phoenix Maiden scheme. Shameless. Lan Yunzu snorted and exclaimed upon hearing this. She knew that the insect king was trying to frame Li Kai and cause all the ghosts to attack him. At the very least. This would give the old undyings of the ghost race a reason to attack, a reason for the great powers to actually maneuver their true forces. With this kind of righteous excuse, the ghost race could easily tear apart the verbal agreement from before. Even if they had lost, they didn't need to leave this place and could maintain their occupation of this bond. Li Kai couldn't help but laugh after hearing this dignified insect king. He then looked up at the phoenix maiden on her chariot. How could such a scheme elude Li Kai? After hearing the insect king, he immediately knew who was leading him on. A person like the Insect King wouldn't be able to articulate this kind of logic. Well said and cleverly put. 
Li Kai applauded and said with a grin, with such effective eloquence and lip service, it is a shame that you are not a storyteller. Li Kai then smirked at the maiden and continued, however, your words are useless. Today, the maiden will definitely not leave this place alive. HMPH, Li Kai, your scheme is truly evil. You want to murder our entire ghost race. A ghost cultivator harshly shouted, you want to kill our future generation? We shall absolutely not let you succeed. A ghost royal lord boldly declared, that's right, do not let the human race's scheme come to fruition. In just a moment, many important characters from the ghost race stood out against Li Kai. A few were moved by the words of the insect king, but if these sect masters and royal lords were so easily moved by speech, then they wouldn't be worthy of their current position. They were pretending to be stupid as they marched against Li Kai. Their minds were still very clear. This was the best chance for them to kill Li Kai. And the insect king's words gave them legitimate reason. Only a fool would not take advantage of such a good excuse. It could be said to be killing three birds with one arrow. First, they could kill Li Kai. Second, there would be no need to honor the deal. They could stay at the pond so that the ghost race could have exclusive access to the treasures. Third, they could pave the way for the ghost's younger generation, especially the three heroes. How could the sect masters and royal lords of the great powers choose to let this opportunity go? In an instant, the fervent mob stimulated by these big shots had even more ghost cultivators verbally attacking Li Kai. In the meantime, the old undyings were only sneering in the shadows. Before this, these old undyings didn't want to attack a junior, but it was different now since the insect king gave them the perfect excuse. If necessary, these old men would be happy to give the human junior Li Kai a fatal blow. While so many ghost cultivators and great powers were provoking Li Kai, the cultivators from the other races didn't want to join this mess, so they only watched silently by the side. Good trick, no words are spared when accusing someone of a crime. The Jade Water Queen commented that she was startled by the sudden reversal of a situation, 